So I got three different slings on eBay, and we're gonna talk about all, all three of them. This one right here was $7 on eBay. This one's also $7 on eBay. And then this one that I'm wearing right now, this uh, Take Tech, kick, uh, uh, what's the name of the brand again? Uh, this K-Tactical <laughs> um, is uh, also uh, on eBay. Here, I'm gonna pick this guy up. Wow, that actually broke so fast. Uh, and it was exactly where I predicted it was going to break. So these two were $7, this one was $22. These two are different slings. This one right here is a single point sling, pretty wide strap. This one right here is a two point sling. You have two uh, clips there, that means you're gonna connect to the firearm in two different places. And then this one right here, this uh, K-Tactical is This K Tactical right here is a modular sling. It's going to have either a single point, like in this configuration where we're connected to the rifle in a single point, like I'm wearing it right now, or you can connect with both of these clips in two different points in the rifle. Makes this sling obviously superior than these, just in the fact that you can use it as a two point or a single point sling. So right here, we have the $7 sling. As you can see, that is a very thin, cheap piece of nylon. That rubbing against your neck, even for a very short duration of time, would be very painful. These plastic clips here are clearly pretty cheap. We've got our bungee right here. It's a, it's a decent bungee system. If I go to feel inside there, I can feel that it's just a kind of a thick rubber band in there um, that's, that's sewed in here. Oh, we have our chinesium clip here. Makes a little squeaky noise when I put when I pull on it. Uh, also, we can see which what will be a consistent failure point with this is that this grommet, as it spins in that hole there, you can tell that it's just very weak in that point. I've seen these snap off, and we can see how thin this D-ring is. This is right. So it's, uh, get down or I'll blast you. Uh, don't hit my friend with the skateboard. Um, uh, Stop lighting those dumpsters on fire. Yeah, seems all right to me. You know what, I did just notice. Uh, this right here hurts. I mean, it didn't like kill me, but I've worn this like eight seconds. But if I was wearing this for, you know, an hour, and this was up against my neck, that really sharp nylon edge would definitely be pretty miserable. 65 pounds of weight. Now, I predict that this will be able to take the weight very easily, but we're gonna see what else it'll have. Go ahead and give that a little lip. It's kind of heavy. All right, there we go. But can uh, this hardware take the weight of uh, some some banging around? So here, I'm gonna pick this guy up. Wow, that actually broke so fast. Uh, and it was exactly where I predicted it was going to break, right inside that spinning grommet. Those are famous for being failure points. Even the better made ones are better, but this couldn't even take 50 pounds. That was absolutely pathetic. Uh, well, that's, all right, there you go. What do you expect? Moving on to this other $7 sling, which is very similar. The difference is that it is a two point sling. It has two points of bungee, one on either end of the, the coils here. Now, as we can see in this sling, that is that is definitely not a lot of flex. It's gonna bottom out pretty quickly. And why do we care about this? What does this do? As we're running around and moving with the sling, it takes out the shock, allows your firearm to not bounce around nearly as much. I'll go the other way. Why is this so funny? <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever, just put it on. <laughs> mm. So here's the uh, two-point sling configuration. You can see uh, a little jiggle in there. You can see how the, uh, the, the, the bungees here are taking a little of the shock out. This one right here is pretty useless. This one is doing most of the work as I'm jiggling. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. So, yeah, this $7 sling, um, well, it's only $7. So you get what you pay for, which is failure. You're going to get failure. Uh, the K-Tactical sling is much more comfortable. So the K-Tactical sling is at least three times better than 
either one of these uh, slings here. All right, so the next one we're going to be testing is this two-point sling. Now this does have a different latch system. I don't expect it to work that much better. I do feel that this uh, super thin trinasium right here is going to crack and break. That's my prediction. But we're gonna go ahead and put that guy in there. These right here, these little clips, they don't contribute in any way to the strength. They just keep things from popping out of these hooks. <laughs> okay, here we go. So our first our lift test, the 55 pounds. 65 pounds. Whoa! All right, I already heard something rip. That was pretty intense. I don't know, something around here ripped. The elastic feels okay in there. Right, well, let's try again. Okay, I'm just gonna give it another. This is only 65 pounds. The, stu the strap can't even take that. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna give it a little shake. All right. Well, that time it actually handled it. Okay, now some jerk tests. All right, that worked pretty good. Uh, I don't know, it melted it in or something. I don't know, there's a, there's like hundreds of little melted pieces. I don't know what the heck they're doing there. Anyways, um, that's a friction nightmare. So hopefully you don't have that rubbing against you in any way. All right, so if we go in a comparison tit for tat on these, this is the $22 sling, this is the $7 sling, and you can clearly see that this is going to be superior, more durable, and stronger because it is approximately twice as thick. Uh, the clip here um, has a nice, nice knurling on it for friction and allows you to be able to clip it on a lot easier. It has a much larger lanyard hole that you can use for a piece of 550 core. Now if we look at the quality of the sewing, the stitching here, we have a nice clean stitching on that double layered nylon, very high quality seatbelt style nylon. Uh, there we go, we have double stitching there as well. I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but there's actually two bungee cords in there as opposed to this one, which is kind of a thick rubber band system through to here. So you have a significant amount of movement and bunginess, which is what you'd expect from a more expensive, higher end uh, sling like this one. All right, uh, quick shout out to the K Tactical Carabiner here. It's uh, fantastically uh, working. Not used for actual mountain climbing, but very well constructed in its design. All right, here we go. One, two, three, Hayakapuki. It broke when I let it go? Oh, the, okay. So the piece of plastic just cracked on the side. Uh, yep, it's completely cracked open, making this D-ring completely useless. Go ahead and take that off and, wow, that is the cheapest, most brittle. Oh, how would that even hold the 55 pounds? That is so garbage. What trash. Uh, okay, we got some fraying right here at the end of this. Uh, it's already starting to fray there. Oh, this one. Oh, look at that. That one's cracked too. So we had already cracked both of those D-rings. Let's go ahead and snap this one off. Jeez, um, it's like... I don't know. I've broken a lot of stuff. That This is ridiculous. Is this one... No, oh, okay. This one's a little hardier. This, whatever, whatever services this is doing is a little tougher, okay. All right, I'm gonna continue with my failure test just to try to see if there's any component of this that has any durability. All right, there we go, that's a winner. All right, just with a couple jerks there. Our clip, here's our clip. This is only 65 pounds, by the way, guys. Like, all right, so our clip here, uh, I predicted that it would stress out right here and crack off. I was wrong, it hasn't cracked yet, but as we can see, it definitely is deformed. It's pulling away. This was about to crack. Now back to over here, our triple stitches that we had talked about earlier. I was not very impressed with the, the stitching quality and I was not wrong. It uh, snapped straight through. Um, let's see what kind of bungees this one has. I all right, quick shout out to my to my K tactical knife here. All right, what do we got inside here for bungees? Okay, we got these these two little black bungees. Kind of look at how much rubber's in there. 
Uh, oh, man, almost no rubber at all. In real time, I'm going to switch to the K-Tactical Sling. All right, that was a prime example of this little uh, hook here being very difficult to open up, as opposed to the K-Tactical ones, which has the knurling and is a lot easier to press into there. So let's just go ahead and push that in. Yeah, even though they look very similar, they operate very differently. And so immediately I realized that this double point sling attached in the exact same place is just much better at keeping the rifle upright. Um, now the most important part of this sling is how amazing this logo looks. You get to show off to your friends, K-Tactical. But uh, this extended bungee here uh, puts all of the much longer shock absorption system right into the gun. And I'm um, not sure if you guys notice it, but I'm really trying to get it to jiggle and it's just jiggling a lot less because that bungee is really doing its job. So this is much softer on the neck. It's a much softer nylon, like a, like a um, seatbelt. It's like a seatbelt nylon. Much softer, much easier on the neck, not a lot of friction there. Can wear it for a, a much longer duration of time. I like how firm the uh, single point sling, is, or the double point sling, I, li I like how firm it is up here. Uh, that I can kind of lock my arm into that position. Uh, with this one, with this one, when you're putting your, because both ends have the bungee on this one, when you're kind of locking your, your forearm into the firearm, you have to deal with that bungee. Some people might like that, but I, I do not. I find that to be less consistent than kind of locking it in on that hard strap when holding in the firearm. And so this tension here is by design and keeps the firearm locked right into position as I'm firing. So now that I've shown how well it works as a two point sling, we're gonna go ahead and switch that very quickly to the one point sling with just the one clip. And now I'm on a one point sling. And as a one point sling, I can maneuver this firearm a lot better. Uh, bang, 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 switch shoulders, bang, 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 switch back, bang, 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 lean around a corner, bang, 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 lean around another corner, bang, 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 public thrust at the enemy, let's try one of these, Ugh, bang, 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 this is how the ladies do it, we love it, take it like, I'm on drugs, so, okay, <laughs> all right, here we go. Now, it's time to test this guy, I'm not really looking forward to this, because I know the quality of this sling is much higher and it's gonna to be tough to really get it to fail. All right, I'm gonna take it right through there, feed it through, attach these two guys together like we had done. Oops, let me just kind of... All right, all the way up, no problem. All right, let's give it some shakes, try to get it to fail. All right, nothing. Okay, let's get uh That's really good that we saw this, this buckle here held up perfectly fine. That was right on the carabiner the whole time. All right, here we go. We're gonna test this clip here. That's probably gonna be our point of failure, but we're definitely gonna really uh, work this um, bungee. We're really gonna work the bungee. All right, we've got nothing. Yeah, working great. Give it some yanks. All right, that was my fault. Yeah, I'm really going to town on this guy. Yeah, we can already tell the uh, quality is much higher. Thrusting. So we've noticed that because of the thinning of it right here, there's a little leverage point there, and we got it to bend a little bit. Uh, well, maybe a little more than a little bit. Um, and it's, uh, it's failed right there. That's 
and, and you know you can just bend this back because this is a more supple um, steel product than that chinesium. Actually, I'm just making things up. We have no idea what quality metal this is. Um, so, uh, but yeah, we could probably just bend it back without it cracking because that's, you know. All right, now that we've gotten the sling back to the office here, we uh, go ahead and use the pliers real quick, bent that back into shape, and the sling is in perfect and wonderful functioning order. Um, so, yes, are there better slings in this world? Absolutely. But for $22, can you get any better than this? Absolutely not. I'm going to say that again, or? I think that was a good line. Oh, so in conclusion, this K-Tactical Sling is clearly a superior product. It's a two-in-one feature, so it does the work of both of these slings, but also it does more than that. It's more than just uh, these two plus more. Um, <laughs> it's three times better. So one other feature that we didn't talk about but it's actually pretty cool, is this uh, quick adjustment strap right here to be able to tighten and loosen that firearm. So bang, 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 switch shoulders, bang, 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 uh, loosen it up, take it off, put it on, tighten it up, there you go. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this sling is just much better. And if you're looking for a very inexpensive, incredibly high quality sling that'll do the job that you need it to, I highly recommend K-Tactical and not this crap. Oh wait, I have something better. So I just wanted to leave you with one parting thought now that you've gotten to the end of this video. This is a very important lesson that I learned from my grandpappy when I was six years old. And he leaned over to me and he said, Son, make sure to press the subscribe and like button. Otherwise, your pancreas will explode. And then he died. So, yeah, Let's take advice from my grandpappy. Like and subscribe. Also, subscribe twice. <laughs>